the Xenoblade Nuzlocke Randomizer, also known as the Flylock. It's a challenge run of Xenoblade 2 where your party members are randomized through gacha. You're unable to use Story Blades, Tora, or any Overdrive protocols. You can roll three rare blades per party member, and whenever we die in the game, whether it's from a boss fight or falling off a cliff while aggroed, we reroll a blade using the magical wheel of destiny and despair. The Flylock is the most challenging thing I've done with Xenoblade 2, and it's filled with turmoil, hope, love, hype moments, betrayal, and despair. What is Prometheus? This run is a roller coaster of emotions, and I'm excited to share with you guys the events that unfolded. Also, if you want more of an in-depth explanation of the rules, click on the top right to check out the first video. This video picks up where we left off, and that's in Uriah. Our current team is Corvin, Nim, and Sheba on Rex, Perun, Telos, and Cassandra on Nia. Like I mentioned earlier, we're only allowed three blades per party member. If we lose one, we reroll. So our adventure begins today by heading to the Urion camp. Van Dam joins the party. We're not able to exclude party members yet, so we keep Van Dam instead of Tora at a low level. Sorry Tora, I'm sure your time will come one day. So something that adds a big amount of difficulty to this run is the fact that enemy aggro is on. Avoiding enemies and trying not to die is a big part of this run, and is something I've died to before. Meaning, if we have a super cool blade, or an OP blade, they're always susceptible to death and exile from our party. We took down the rampaging Ardun, no problemo, defeated the Elder Arachno, and now it was time to beat Akos. Baby ass fight for babies, goo goo! Oh shit, I'm shackled. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now I could chain attack here, but that's too great of a risk. But I like risks. Oh, ho, ho! yes, sir. The power of Corvin is coursing through my veins. With this blade, I feel invincible. Thankfully, nothing bad will happen to him ever, so yeah, don't worry about that at all. Man, this chapter has a bunch of fights. We're onto a challenging one, Zeke 1. Because of how the other fights went leading up to this point in this chapter, I thought this fight was going to go pretty well. I was wrong. All right, let's avoid everything here. Oh, evasion! Evasion, evasion! Oh no, I'm dead! Oh no, the run's over, psych. Oh shit! Oh shit, Nia's dead. Ah! Nia! Nia! <laughs> Jesus Christ! No! No, he actually beat us! See? Oh no! All right, turns out we're actually uh, getting rid of a blade today. Dude, if it's Corvin, hey, imagine it's like Cassandra on Nia and we get a healer instead. This might be good for us. Let's see who it is. Please, please, please. As long as it's not Corvin, I'm not too concerned. I will take this. All right, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Again? Oh my god. Talk about needy. She's back for a- wait, she's back? We have a stalker on our hands. Vess just won't leave us alone. We lost Telos and gained Vess on Nia. Having a healer on her is awesome, and Telos wasn't doing much on her uh, own anyways, so I'm not too bummed. A pretty good trade. We face Zeke again. Oh, a heal! Oh god, Vess, thank you! Clutch heals by Nia and Vess here. Oh my god, the heals from her! It's non-stop! Let's go! Yes! Just a quick aside, before we continue with the video, if you're enjoying this content, please feel free to subscribe. It's free and lets me know this is the type of content you'd like to see more of. Back to the video. The next part of this run is a hellscape of enemies, so we use some epic speedrunner magic to avoid them. So I'm assuming the most jank angles right here. Built different, baby! We make it to the capital and fight the violent driver and kick his ass. But now we're headed to the final fight of this chapter, Malos and Akos. Let's do this! Oh, 
One more face. Yeah. Time to throw Pog Champ. Time to throw Pog Champ. Time to throw Pog Champ. And Malos is down. One left. Couple more hits. And it's GG's. Fish him off, Corbin. Pog. <laughs> Let's go. So the entire chapter, we suffered only one loss. Not so bad, but the battles themselves were pretty tough. On to chapter four now. This is going to be one of the hardest chapters in this entire run. The main reason is that we're not going to be using Tora, the main tank, and have to face this entire chapter with only two party members and six blades. We have Corvin though, so in theory this shouldn't go as bad as we think it should. In theory. After chasing around a thief for a while, we get Rock on our team. However, because of the Flylock rule set, we are unable to use him. Sorry, Titty Bird. We face off against Menacing Joe and Benjamin the Brain. They get fucked up by Corvin. It wasn't even close. I'll be honest with you, I love having Corvin on the team. We face some enemies as we chase after Lila now. Now it's time for one of the hardest challenges we face with the Flylock. And that's the first Lila fight. Good heal though, good heal. Okay, she fucking does damage. Holy shit. I am dead, but I should be okay here. Nice. I just got fucked. I just got fucked up, dude. It's time for us to see who we lose. It could be anybody. Run it! That's fucked up. That is fucked up. That sucks. I will say, that is a huge L. And just like that, our first loss on Lila meant we lost our strongest blade, Gorvin. Just like losing Crescent, our fast pass to an easy run was taken away from us. What the fuck is that? Is that Wolfric? Our replacement is Sever. This is a New Game Plus only blade, and it was the first time I got him myself. He has insane damage at 695, but nothing could really replace the void that our boy Corvin left. I do not know what this guy does. My man! <laughs> it's like he's mocking me for losing Corvin. Lila hits really hard in this fight. And without having a tank to soak up damage, it is incredibly difficult. It would be so much easier if we could use that little goblin Tora, but alas, we cannot. Let's see some of what happens next. I miss Corbin. Fuck! <laughs> we lose no one! What? It's like nothing happened! That's so fucking funny. Is that Percival? Hey! What's good, homie? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's try again. Holy fuck, she does so much damage! Jesus Christ! Fuck! God damn it! She hits so hard! Ugh. Okay, okay, we take those! We take those! We take those! That is good for us! It's tell us again. <laughs> GG's, GG's. Yeah, at, at half HP, she goes to fucking uh, goober mode, dude. Not bad, not bad at all. I'll take it. Come on, come on. Miss Chungus would even work. Oh. I believe this is a another common. Wow. I lied to you. What? 
What? What the fuck? Get out of here, dude! Guys, welcome back, Cassandra, to the team. She was gone for so long, she couldn't stay away from us. That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> Your swag is on, you have to win now, you got it. Nice. Woo! Big, big damage, big, big damage! Keep it running, keep it running, keep it running. I could chain attack here. I'm gonna play... I fucked it up. I can't believe I fucked it up. I can't believe I fucked it up. No, dude! No! I fucked up at the end and used the chain attack, forgetting we don't have a third party member. I didn't think it mattered whether or not we needed to use Nim to break the orb. I fumbled the ball and messed it all up. A huge L here. But we keep moving forward. <laughs> All according to plan, baby! What the fuck is. What? What the. What? I'm sorry, who? Wait. Is. Boreas! It's our boy! He's here! Healer! Let's go! Heels! Go! This is the run! Level 4 on a break, let's go! This is big damage! Excellent! Come on, Chad! Oh, clutch heal, clutch heal! Come on! Yes! Let's go! Oh my god! Because we got Boreas, I switched to maining Nia for the fight instead of Rex. The heals from both Boreas and Vess was just enough to keep us alive that entire fight, and the DPS and fusion combos, coupled from the damage from Telos, we achieved victory. This was by far the hardest thing we've done in this run to date. Five deaths, five rerolls, we lost Corvin, we lost so many friends, but in the end we made it out wounded, but alive. We did it! It's over! Holy shit! That was dope. There's two ways we level up in this run. The first one is one level up per loss or death to a boss, never over the boss's level however, and second, leveling up to the level of the boss we just defeated. So we get a boost up to level 29 for defeating Lila. It's not over though for the future since there is a second Lila fight looming above us. Anyways, we then spend the rest of the stream in particular filling out all of Boreas's and Sheba's affinity chart, since they were quite simple to do in this area in Argentum. We find ourselves now in more Ordain. I let my stream know that today, I would not die at all. Let's see if that checks out. We start fighting off some unforgettable Ardanian soldiers with their big leader, Morag. So, I'm gonna focus on getting rid of these Ardanian fellas. Okay, that's one. Before we, uh, we deal with Morag here. Once she's in enrage mode, uh... Pretty sure she one-shots all of us. Which is not, uh, not fun. We're gonna keep our party gauge up, not for a fucking, uh... Chain attack, but rather for uh, safety if our teammates die, because we only have two party members anyways. I knew that hit was coming up, so I made sure to put as many heals down as possible there. Rex unfortunately died before I got my heals off there, which sucks a lot. Did I just get comboed? Let's go! Let's go, dude! No deaths! The Tom Brady of Xenobald! Yes, sir! Not an easy fight by any means. 
and we had a lot of close calls. Somehow though, we managed to take her down. Ultimately had an easier time with Morag than with Lila, and I'm grateful for that, considering a lot of people consider this fight much harder. Our reward for that fight is a bump up to level 31, and we continue on our way. So we gotta get through this maze-like enemy riddled area. I always hate going through this part because I fear for my life. Immediately escaping this hellhole we make it to the Chansag Wastes, which is just such an annoying ass area because of these high level monsters that can aggro us at any time and just one shot us and set us to the Shadow Realm. Thankfully though, I am a master of stealth and disguise. <laughs> I took the fucking uh, executive route. Yep, yep, I animation canceled. Yep, yep, yep. Canceled his attack, didn't get hurt, and hit him. Yep, yep, yep. Built different. It's not over yet, though. I can still fuck it up. You know me. Alright, we're switching. We're doing a risky thing here. We're gonna go for a topple. Oh, we toppled him right in the middle of his animation. Let's fucking go. Topple! Let's go! All according to the script, baby. All according to the script. Another dub in the books. I destroyed this fight. Using level 4 specials during his attacks and toppling him stopped him from doing his strongest attacks to our party, which led to a pretty clean win on Zeke too. That being said, the next area is quite a pain in the ass, the abandoned factory. We obviously can't use Tora, so we have to be extra careful traversing this section. And now we're on to a fight we've all been waiting for, Lila 2. The PTSD from the first fight is hitting me now. God, Lila, Lila 2, she's back. This is what happened in Lila 1. Not one, but two Cassandras. Sever. Perun. Carvin. Oh, she does a lot of damage. I'm gonna go for another break here. I'm gonna go for another break. No, wow, no luck at all. Nice, we got to topple off. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Woo, that was a close one. This should uh, cancel out her damage here. the kill baby g g's mm -hmm. we beat the fight without a single death honestly i owe it to our great combo of having two blitzball wielding healers that can hit breaks that lead into topple combos with telos a lot of healing and a lot of damage leads to our success here and of course my masterful gameplay but <laughs> what's new there it's time to face our old arch nemesis the bunnet in our first playthrough it was a titan to get past but this time we showed who's boss. With that out of the way, it's time to face Giga Rosa. I won't even show you the fight because we destroyed her so bad it was a joke. But now it's time to face Mikhail and Petroka. I didn't mean to switch to Telos. What happened? I thought I, I thought I died. <laughs> I honestly thought I died. The first part of the fight was really easy and was done quick. Now normally in this part of the game, you can bring Morag onto your team because you just obtained her. However, because this is a new game plus file, she's level 76 from last time we used her in the previous save file. And that can't be changed until after the fight, or if I died. So I decided to stay with only two party members. Rex! Rex! They scared me with their fire move. He has big shield, how? <laughs> how do they have the technology? Oh, I'm launched. Oh, I'm launched. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Heal, 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 heal. Ah! Oh my god. That was terrifying. Come on, come on. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of this twerp. Woo! There's one. There's one. Let's get two. GG's. Oh my god. That was a clencher. That was a clencher, dude. A clencher indeed. Finally, one of the hardest chapters out of the way for this run. So many battles. So many close encounters with death, but we make it out once again. Chapter 4 is finally over. And our reward? Morag. A real tank. And with the advent of Morag, that means we gotta pull some blades on her. 
Three rare blades to be exact. Let's see who we end up getting. Oh! Who is this? Oh my god, is this Adonine? Yo! Heal champ, heal champ! Hey, hey, this is good. This is backup. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back! We got some clingy, clingy women in this, uh, in this fly lock. I can't blame them. I can't blame them. But welcome back, Maru! Oh my god! Yo! Praxis! Definitely remembered. Our third member on Morag. And now our team is complete. The whole gang is here and now it's time to get into chapter five we make sure to get morag down to our level and not keep her at level 76 meaning we can officially use her during this run now we start off in leftaria and make our way to fonset village we meet a familiar foe zeke it's time to fight him one last time Woo! okay 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 big damey big damey big damey well not that much damage but we'll take it Sonic Thunder Slash sounds scary. Oh my god! Oh, stay alive! You almost killed Rex in one hit, bro. Oh! Oh! oh. Fucking one-eyed monster. What is H? All I know is W. Top left? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Our reward for beating this one-eyed monster is him joining our party. As we make it to Indol, it was now time to pull some rare blades, just like we did for Morag. Oh! Who the fuck? Is that Bowser? Is that gay Bowser? Who the fuck? What the? <laughs> Sever's back? What you doing here, dude? Alright, welcome back, Sever. Let's go! Yes, sir! Oh, this is so sick! I'm so down for this. What a fucking W. God damn. One of my favorite blades. That's so sick. Oh, no way. No way this is Cassandra again. What the fuck, man? Does she just want to die? She's our Cassandra scapegoat. Three puppies. Cassandra three. Three Cassandras. Three Xenoblade games coming out. Somehow we got Cassandra back for the third time this run. She really can't get away from us. So Cassandra, the return of Sever, and Harold. Having Harold is a great and powerful addition for Zeke. We swap in Zeke to take Morag's place as our tank. This is unfortunately the last time we use Morag this whole run since Zeke has such a good blade loadout. We level him down, and we're on our way. We make it into Temperentia now, and we gotta fight the Wires. This is a stressful fight because of its insane spike damage, which is damage it deals to you when we do damage to it, kind of like a damage reflect. Also, that it's three phases in a row. Let's see how it plays out. All right, I'm playing this shit safe, bro. Basically, we're big chillin' until this guy's 50% HP. All right, he's almost at enrage and spike damage and shit. What our plan could be is to do as much damage as we can before we die and then use chain attack. Oh shit. Oh my god, it's so much damage. Jesus Christ, man. The biggest damage dealer here should be Sever. Oh, big dammy. Okay, this gotta be it. This gotta be it, man. Oh my god. Cassandra 3, come on down. Yes, sir! All right, part two. We're not out of the woods yet. We're not out of the woods, bro. I remember this fight, you piece of shit. Oh my god. Stop that. Stop that. Stop making us float in the air. Oh, nice! 
Dude, now that we have an actual third party member, we can do so much. We can actually just do shit. This is so good for us. This, look at his stupid dead ass. Look at him. Fucking flow in the air. It's our turn to launch you, buddy. Nice, nice. If I can switch and get a topple right here, that'd be huge. Nice. Oh, that's so much damage. We got him during a launch. Is he dead? That killed him? No, it didn't. I thought it did. I thought it did. Dude, I, I thought it did that much damage. I was like, bruh? Alright. Okay. 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 Hello? Alright, we're gonna go with Sever here. Oh my god! 23k experience. Alright, phase three. Alright, we're gonna go for a chain attack as soon as this hits. This should be it, fellas, if I don't fuck this up. And you know I never fuck this up. GG's! Quite the lengthy fight, but we make it through with no deaths. The first phase was the toughest, and we make it through the rest with relative ease. We destroy Giga Rosa once again, and then we finally make it into the icy embrace of Tanto. So I'm gonna preface this part of the run here. I started this particular stream being so confident in my team, I said I would end stream for the day if I died in the run at all. Things should have gone normally from here, but they didn't. Something went horribly wrong, but we'll get into that later. So in this run, I decided I'd save a bit of time doing a speedrunning technique where you do a death code left in by the devs, which, while you're under the effects of, negates any fall damage. Kind of like some freaky zombie hover. So basically, by doing that, I can jump down all the way to the bottom of Tantel no way. and skip climbing down the normal way. It was my first time doing it, and it was nuts. Oh shit! Let's go! I'm schmoving! Ah! <laughs> oh, what happened? <laughs> I just had a good dream. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a duel. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that was sick. We should be okay. We should be good. Once we get to this checkpoint, we're we're good. We're chilling. We're big chilling. <laughs> bro, I feel like I feel like fucking Magneto, bro. Oh, we have to switch characters to activate the landmark. Oh shit. Oh. We did it! Yes, let's go! Now that was very fun, cool, and awesome. But now it's time for me to talk about something that I did that was heinous and borderline criminal. The Mikhail fight, the Jin fight, it's null and void. While I was recording footage for a previous Xenoblade video, I used the Flylock save file because it was the only one I had that could get the footage I needed in order to show off gameplay mechanics. For the video, I went into custom mode and completely lowered enemy attack power, made their HP maxed, and turned off enemy aggro. After finishing the video, I closed the game without saving, thinking that it would return the settings to normal for the Flylock, but it didn't. This nullifies the last two fights. We've saved since then, so there's no way to go back. This is my largest scandal to date. <sighs> this is my apology video. I made a serious and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. What I came across in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was my foolishness and reckless behavior. I did not mean to cheat. It was a simple mistake, but mistakes have consequences. As penance for my actions, I will create a new emote for my channel, FlyNCD, and re-roll three of my blades in the Flylock in order to set things right. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm disappointed in myself, and I promise to be better. I will be better. Thank you. That's number one. Number two. And number three.
All right. We must pull today, lads. We have lost some good soldiers. But it is time to get some new friends. Hey, it's our boy. Fishman. Let's go, Gorg. Holy sh... What, you can get her? <laughs> God damn. All right, 790 auto attack. De Jesus Christ. Okay, I kind of got a little rewarded for being a little uh, dream man myself here. We got, we lost Sever, but uh, Petroka does more damage. Holy shit. She is strong. Oh. I don't know who this is. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, I thought it was Miss Chungus. I thought it was Miss Chungus. I, 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 I thought it was Miss Chungus and I was about to lose my mind, but we got Ursula back. We got a healer to replace our healer. This is Ursula Jr. A healer out, a healer in. We can, we can work with this. I think we would have won those fights without dying, but the possibility of that not happening means we had to pay up. It could have been worse, but I really do miss Nim now. So we lost Harold, Nim, and Sever. And they're replaced with Gorg, Petroka, and Ursula Jr. With this out of the way, we can move along with the run. From this point, it is completely legitimate. Our next fight is a tough one. And now we must put our new team to the test. Not knowing whether or not the last few fights would have been difficult if they were legitimate, it was hard to know how this Phantasm fight would go. Basically, you have to kill these guys before they reach half health, or they'll use the ability Moltis to spawn another Phantasm, sometimes even multiple. The goal is to burst them down one by one. Shit, he used Moltis, you son of a bitch. I gotta heal Rex, I gotta heal Rex. God damn it, this fight is insane. All right, we got one. We did level up, which is nice. We need a setup to kill these guys. No, die, 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 die. Don't Moltis, don't Moltis, don't Moltis. No, god damn it, we got blown. Son of a bitch! Good burst, good burst. Stop evading our shit. Oh my god! What happened? That is not good. Motherfucker. He spawned like 70 of them. No, he blew me down. Please, I need to hit my topple. I need okay, we're toppled. Yes! Okay. Okay, we're down to three at least. We're back to three. We're gonna focus on... This guy. Everybody focus on this guy. Yes! We hit a topple before. Yes! Please die! Okay, we're down to two. There's one in the edge of the map. He's fucking hacking. He's in the sky. I don't know if you see that. Cool. I guess since I ch accidentally cheated, they can cheat too. That's actually fair. And now we're even. What do we do? I don't know. We just keep fighting. I could use a chain attack when they're down to two for sure. But it's hard to even get an orb on them, let alone. We are leveling up as we do this, which is at least good. Anytime we hit a break, it's an easy combo to death. Yeah. That's a one-shot combo if we can do it. Alright? Alright? This is looking good for us. I'm gonna hit a break here. Yes. And then into a topple. A verbro means we can kill him before he multises. Yes! Yes! Yes, sir! We just gotta kill him! We just gotta kill him, we're good! Yes! Let's go! 100% authentic W! As you all saw, the Phantasm was fly hacking and floating in the air, cheating in protest of my past actions, absolving me of my crimes. An eye for an eye. All is well with the world, and balance has been reached in the universe. It was a tough fight to figure out, but honestly, leveling up twice mid-fight, I think, is the reason we were able to get through that. After Nia gets friend-zoned, we continue on into the Cliffs of Mortha. We lose Pyra because of the story, but thankfully we don't use her in this run at all, so no big deal. Uh, remember how I said I would end the stream if I died this run? You are an idiot, but this is the right way? Okay, we'll take it. Now, if I fell off normally, this would not count as an official death, but because the bat aggroed me before I fell, 
Under the stipulations of the Flylock, I must reroll a blade next stream. Who is going to be the one that we send home today on the Flylock Week 8? Let's find out. 3, 2, 1, go! Yes! This is a win for us, dude. We didn't need Gorg. Oh my god, Nim's back! Nim Jr! She's back! Welcome back, Nim! Oh my god. Our blades love coming back home. Be careful, don't fall. I don't want to fall, guys. Fall, guys? Yo, Fall Guys crowns in the chat? Please. Please, 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 please. You fucking treacherous vine, fucking monolith software. Run, just run, just run. Zeke is dead. Zeke fell down. Zeke fell down. Zeke, I repeat, Zeke is dead. Oh my god, why is there a swarm of monsters here? Vine, vine, yes! Oh. Oh. <laughs> After climbing the treacherous cliffs, we make it to the Malos fight. This one gave us some trouble on our first playthrough of this game, but I knew the key points. Avoid the center hole and things should be fine. I could also try the pandemic. Let's try pandemic. I believe I can end that with wind. Okay, we got heals from that as well, which is perfect because now... Ooh, I wanted to block his striker edge by doing this, but this is good heals for our team and great damage. Excellent. We're almost at 50% healthier. Oh my god, he did so much damage to me. Did you see that? I have aggro, it seems. I'm hoping for someone else to take it, or this is gonna be really bad. Oh my god! Oh no, 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 no. Switch to Boreas, use healing circle. Keep the heals coming. He is enraged. He is not fucking around now. None of our breaks are hitting him, which is really bad. We're in Monado Jail, which means we're fucked. If he does anything really damaged. Oh my god, Monado Eater! No, my health! Rex is down. I'm down. Oh, no. GG's. GG's. Fuck. Oh, shit. Fuck, dude. He did so much damage in the last half. His enrage is insane. Please don't be a healer. Please. This is bad. Wait, who's Adonine on? Wait, Adonine? Oh, it's on Morag. Oh! Oh, wait a minute, cut the music. All right, that's okay, we don't even use her. Yes, this is fine! We're fine! Yes, let's go! Oh, no fucking way. <laughs> now we're definitely not using Morag. That's, uh... That's incredible. All right, fellas. My heel didn't go off in time. Come on! Heal! Come on! Yes! Oh! Oh my god! Holy shit! GG's Malice! Oh, I gotta go for a fucking walk. After that extremely stressful fight with Malos, it became clear to me that the rest of this run isn't going to be as easy as I thought it would be. I would need to bring the heat to get this W. 
The goal is to not die and lose our core party members because readjusting the entire game plan and adapting based on new blades is very difficult. This giant bird reminds us of why we love enemy aggro so much for this run. So much fun. I love the flylock. Well, looks like we're not done with Malos. In fact, we gotta fight him and Jin at the same time. This will not be easy. God, oh my god, the damn it! What the hell is this fight? I feel like my healing isn't keeping up to the amount of fucking DP. Oh my god, yeah, Rex is dead. Oh my god, I can't even get back up! No! No! Dude, this fight, Zeke! <laughs> Fuck! Dude, we just got her! Uh, what the fuck, man? No! Don't say it's Finch. Don't say it's Finch, bro. Don't Finch me up like this, bro. Don't- Oh, oh, what the fuck, bro? What the- What is he gonna do, dude? Lay an egg? Holy shit, stun swallow! No, my god! What the fuck, bro? He just killed Zeke. <laughs> they just took a fat shit on me, dude. All right, roll the fucking wheel, bro. Who is it? We lose another healer on, uh, on Rex this time. This is an actual healer. Ursula wasn't the best on Rex, so this isn't the worst thing ever, but that's, uh, that sucks. That sucks for sure. Oh! Yo! <laughs> Why, she's back! Dude, we keep getting our, our veteran blades coming back to our party. Welcome back, Newt! Newt Jr! Let's try again, fellas. Fucking heavenly disrupt, dude. Pissing me off! I don't want to switch and topple in case he uses jail. Or in case I get fucked up by... <laughs> Jin like that? That shit is actually fucking terrifying. I'm gonna need a group heal ASAP. Just get the heal- keep the heals coming, keep the heals coming. And we're gonna be okay. Is that... Did we... Is that it? Did we do it? We haven't died this much to a single fight since Lila back in Chapter 4. I actually thought we had to get them both to zero HP, but the fight ends a lot sooner than that. Thankfully, that was our ticket to victory. The next part of the battle is unavoidable. We have to use Numa, but it isn't a big deal because the game makes it so this fight is literally unlosable. Ah, my kind of fight! Woo! This is the stuff! Oh, even Tor's in our party? Oh, God. So with that wrapped up, we finish Chapter 7 and enter Chapter 8. Two chapters left, and they aren't very long. So we are nearing the end of the Flylock here. So before we get into the thick of things, we decide to pick Mithra as the name for Numa, but only because we picked Pyra in our first playthrough. Don't get it twisted. We're in Moritha now, and we do not have any of our party members. Instead, we get Jin. We are unable to exclude him from the party, so he's stuck with us for a little bit. I do go to the end and bring him down to level 1, however, to make things fair for this run. You know me. Well, it turns out that was a very bad thing to do for this next section. Yeah, this might be an, uh, what they call a big issue in the vlog room. Healers, magic. We literally can't beat this part until we get a healer. That's actually so funny. I'll be fine. The game, it's scripted. No way they're gonna let me die this early. So we lost Percival, but that's not a bad thing because I don't think you're gonna be prepared for who we replace him with.
calculated death. I cannot believe this. Today is a good day for the fly crew. All right, just just keep just keep shooting, just keep shooting, keep shooting your shot, baby. Jane is dead. Okay, this is how it begins. This is gonna be literally the slowest fight of all time. This is bad for us. I hate this. I hate this, bro. This ain't easy. <laughs> Wait. Wait a minute. Wait, are we making this work? No. No. <laughs> I can't my brain bro I can't I literally have no idea how we beat that fight I swear I should have died 19 separate times but the Crescent dream is real the script has already been written what has happened has been preordained we will ride to victory on the back of Crescent we make our way through the land of Martha we get our party members back, and now we go into the infernal Guldo fight. I'll skip the nonsense. We destroy him with the power of our rocket shoot gal. GG's triple healer, big dammy. It is unfair. It is the Flylock. We are nearing the end now. It's time to climb the world tree. At the top, the end of the Flylock. But of course, we cannot skip that climb. Up until this point, everything was going well. We had Crescent heal us on our way to the top. But then Bicycle Nation attacked. All right, we might actually lose this fight. Zeke's dead. That's not good. That's not good to have. That's not just, that's just not good. Oh my god! <gasps> um, that's bad. That's uh, that's our 16th death. Here we go. Goodbye, Crescent. It was too good to be true. Maybe we'll meet again one day. And just like that, because of a sentient two-wheeled vehicle launching me to my demise, I no longer have Crescent on my team. And she is now replaced by Dagus. There was a 1 in 12 chance of this happening, but somehow the fates decided to make it so. Why do the good die so young? It was too good to be true. Now the rest of the flylock will be as challenging as it once was. We get rid of the Kawasaki's and continue climbing. Now this part of the run is interesting. In order to get past this door, I would need many blades to get the right field skills to do so, and that would involve pulling more blades, and I didn't want a gacha in case we got something cool and had to release it. Thankfully there's a clip you can do if you jump into the right pixel, it'll get you through this door. But I've never done this before and this trick is not so easy for a newcomer. After about 40 minutes of jumping, I finally made it through that stupid ass door. Oh! Oh, we did it! Let's go! Oh my god! Let's go! Yes! Oh,
your dreams! So that was pretty cool, but uh, there's some strong enemies barring our path now. We want to get him out of aggro range. Huh. Well, that's kind of cringe. Okay, go! Lay it on me easy, Chief! This is the worst day of my life. You were with us for almost all of the run, Boreas. We did everything we could to keep you alive, but sometimes we can only do so much when it's someone's time to go. Goodbye, Boreas. We'll always remember you. Adonine! Okay, okay, this is good. Another healer. Yes. Oh, this is good. This is good. I have to avoid these guys. You fools. Okay, I am totally fine with losing daggers. Harold? Yo! God damn! So what you're telling me is that the whole reason I lost is because that guy spawned. Oh my god. So there's a way to make him not spawn? That would make a lot more sense. Oh, don't let him spawn. That way, you can run around him because he doesn't exist. Not go to the right when he's there and die. Okay, cool. All right, we got Harold out of it, whatever. I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. Yep, just had to make sure he didn't spawn. It's pretty sad we lost Boreas, a blade we spent a lot of time improving its affinity chart, and it was a core part of the party in our dual healer setup. We got Adenine, which is also another wind element healer, so it wasn't too bad, but things just don't feel the same. Getting Harold in exchange for Dagus was nice though. A little bump in the road, but now it's time to do the final Jin fight. Scary stuff here. This is a back-to-back -back fight that starts with Jin and ends with Garbulio. Okay, so far... It's gonna be a slow trek down his HP until we get to his enrage. I don't know when that is, I don't know when the Garbulio phase starts, but... I'm gonna hit a topple here, hopefully. Yes. That's gonna actually I make some shit happen. Lyman, but this is the wall. Salute. I believe we can make this happen, baby. I really do. Oh, he evaded it! That's unfortunate, I'm dead. A res would be nice here, fellas. My heals don't work! Oh my god, this guy is heavenly disrupting. What the fuck? All right, no problem, no problem. It's another day in the life. All right, Rex is down before I could get my heal off. That's really bad. I don't think we have enough party gauge to res him yet. Zeke's about to die. Oh, no. He's enraged! Oh, GG. I don't know. I don't know if I have to get him to zero HP, but he just, he fucked me. Spike damage, yeah. We lose Sheba. Sheba was here since the start. This is a big Sag. This is a big Sag. Sheba, I believe, was the one blade we had for... with us since, since the very beginning, and now... it's time to say goodbye to her. Very sad. I need just to believe in something to save this run. I just need to hope for something in my heart that will save us from damnation. That will lead us to the promised land. He's back. Boreas! Oh! How? We gotta make sure everyone stays alive. 
Oh, he, he nullified heal right when Zeke's about to die. That's bad. Unfortunate. This is okay. We can res him and then immediately heal him. God. He just fucks our team, dude. Let's see if we can get that mega explosion off. Any orb is good for us here. He's enraged. I don't know if two orbs is enough here. But we're gonna try. Let's get this, bro. Let's do this. Come on. Get him. Let's go. Yes. Fuck yeah. Let's fucking go. We managed to kill him with a chain attack with only two orbs. Without doing it that early, Jin's spike damage, coupled with his insane burst, would whittle down our party gauge and destroy us easily. We somehow make it out alive, but it's not over. Without any breaks, Garbulio hearkens to battle. Damn, his robes do be divine. That's level 68? Oh my god. We're still six levels under. Fuck. This is where we would have changed our levels, but since it's a group fight, or a back-to-back, -back, we're not allowed to until we die. He does so much damage, what the fuck? Oh my god. This MF kind of spooky though. We're gonna take you down, Garbolio. I'll put you on a poster. We're gonna avoid the Garbolio. We do not know that threat. Thousand tentacles! Woo! Heals so far are sustaining us, so we're, we're good on that regard. But I don't know how fucking crazy he gets at enrage mode. Oh, Jesus Christ. We do have a level 4 here. To do nothing but avoid an ability, pretty much. Like this. He's almost enraged. We got. We need our party gauge full before that happens, or we're actually fucking gonna die a painful, horrible death live on Twitch.television. We're almost there. It's halfway there, dude. Halfway till the end. Come on, let's do this. Let's fucking get this done, baby. Let's fucking kill this guy! Garboy, your time is up! We have to wait out the fucking, uh, the, the blade shackle. Okay, okay, let's make this happen. I believe. I believe. This is all we need. If this chain attack goes through and we kill him, we would have bested Garbulio. The believers will dance and parade down the streets. This is all it takes. One big W for the fly crew. One big W for the fly lock. Oh! This might be it! Cassandra, bring it home! Cassandra Jr. Jr. Your time to shine! This is why we brought you here! Yes! G! G, baby! Game over! Let's fucking go! And we do it. Thanks to Patroko's and Telos' incredible damage during chain attacks, and the proper preparation, both Jin and Garbulio fell to our blades. We collect our final levels now, and we easily breeze through the fake party member fights on our way. 19 deaths so far in this run, and we have one final battle left, Malos. This is what it all comes down to. After the dozens of close fights in this run, will we beat him? Will we beat him in one single try? If you open this door, there will be no turning back. Falling in battle will mean restarting from the title screen. Let's do this, chat! Next! <laughs> Oh god! It's time! This fight is comprised of two phases, if I recall correctly. Oh god, oh Jesus. Oh god, don't hurt me! Our orbs here will not matter in phase two, I remember that. Get some heals, make sure Zeke gets the aggro here. I do not want to be destroyed by his fucking Gundam laser sword blade. This is it. The finale to the fly lock. Oh, he nullified my heals. Oh, shit. He doesn't... Oh, he has the Jin move. That's not good. 
Our brakes are not hitting on him. Doesn't seem like we can topple this giant beast. Probably makes sense. I do believe some goons are gonna spawn. No worries. I don't want to be tanking this, though, I will say. Ow, dude! Get down! I should be hitting a fusion here. This should fucking destroy this level 69 piece of shit. Good job, Adonine. Oh, well, he didn't kill him, but he did a lot of damage. No, he killed me! Please! Team! I need a res! Ball me up, dude! Jeez, dude, that was a fucking close call. Well done, Petroka. He is dead. Back to the artifice. Let's give a nice group heal, and we're back. We're back in this, baby. All right, phase two starts now. That was the easy part. It's time, fellas. Did I, uh, whoa, whoa, did I miss something? Ah. I always got the YouTube comments. He's gonna hit us with, oh my god! I don't like that. I don't like that at all, champ. He might be getting enraged soon. We're gonna see. If that happens, the second I see him get enraged, assuming he does have an enraged face, which I'm not 100% sure of, I'm assuming he's the fucking last boss, we're going straight into our chain attack. And if we do it right, it should take him down. He has about two orbs on him here. War of the Servants. Oh, God. He's bringing out his goons. That didn't go so well last time. Oh, God. Things are getting heated. Let me res him, you bastard. This guy needs to go down ASAP. Use everything we have to get rid of him. Topple him. All right, one more. And he's done. Back to the boss. Three in our party gauge. Siren, oh Jesus, no. No, 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 no. No! No! Oh dear Lord. We need to get our party gauge to max immediately. Oh God, he's doing so much damage. Oh, we got it! We got it! Oh god! Oh god, this is it! Oh. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. We have the damage. We have the technology to beat the Flylock! I think we have one more turn. Petroka, do some damage. Come on, so close! Oh no, we don't have enough to end it. We don't have enough to end it. We need to just tack on damage until he dies. We didn't have enough. We didn't have enough, but we have the heals. We have the damage. We can make this work. Chain attack or no? Oh, shit. This is good. This lets us get our party gauge back up. Get him, get him, get him. He's done. If we can just do enough damage here. If Petroka can kill, if Harold can kill. Oh no. Oh no, if I die. Oh no. No! What is Prometheus? What is Prometheus? No! I'll get one shot it. He has that move? Oh, you s Oh my god, dude. He has that? Oh. I didn't know that existed. Poggers. That's not Poggers. Fatal mistake. No! God damn it! Dude, we were so close to avoid this, and now we lose. We lose our topple. Oh my god. I didn't know he had a one shot move, dude. Uh, Talos Jr. 
It was an honor. No predictions here. We're going to see who our next, perhaps final member of the Flylock is. Come on, I need something. Please. Somebody that will seal the deal and save this run. She's back! Nim Jr. Jr. And we also pulled Miss Chungus on the T. <laughs> Holy shit. She's with us in spirit. Let's beat this fucking boss. Let's do this! Our game plan is when we get to phase two, we need three orbs minimum. Or it's over. Here it is. Phase two begins. Please don't kill me. Alright, we can work with that. So our priority is getting orbs on him. Before he gets an enrage. Until that happens, we just stay alive. He did just nullify my healing. That is bad. I'm not in a good health space. This should cancel out the damage that would have killed me here. And give me a nice heal. Alright, one orb. One orb down. If we can get that Mega Explosion off, we're good with the Fire Orb. Praying for that Mega Explosion. Yes! Two Orbs! Right now we have Fire and Wind. And this should also block the X-Star that's about to hit us. Three Orbs! The tension in the air is palpable, I will tell you. Let's see if I can get level 3 off here very quickly. Yes! No, I just missed the timing. Fuck. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Oh, he's retreating. All right. He's not in range, at least. Let's get rid of these servants. One down. Almost. I can't use my level 4 to dodge this Siren Buster. But he's- Oh, he's enraged now. I'm gonna die from this. I'm gonna wait it out. I need- I need a Thunder Orb, dude. I've just been so incredibly unlucky. If I can do Earth, Earth, Thunder, I'm good. Yes, yes, yes. I don't think I can do a level 4, but... There's our Thunder Orb! Let's go! Four Orbs! Let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. This is for next turn. Petroka. Okay. Now we do Vess. And we do damage to the other ones. Okay, perfect. Yes! Yes! Petroka, do your thing! Okay, come on! Come on! Come on! This is it! This is it! Let's go! Bring it home, Petroka! <laughs> GG's! The Flylock is over.
27 hours, 20 deaths, two battles with Malos, and almost a dozen weeks of the Flylock. It's finally over. One of the toughest challenges I've ever done with a game ends here. The amazing blades we had, the goofs, the speedrun techniques, the betrayals, and the skills we picked up along the way make for an unforgettable experience. My final thoughts on this challenge is that I believe the rules were tuned pretty well to my skill level. The only time I felt that the run wasn't challenging was when I had very strong and OP blades. However, due to the enemy aggression and just general random bullshit that can happen in the game, you know, dying can happen. And the ability to lose those OP blades make you cherish them so much more. I think doing rare blades instead of commons make you grow more attached to these blades, even the lesser used ones, and makes the pressure of losing them that much greater as the run continues. I think if I were to change anything now, it's to perhaps have a way to fail the run, like not being able to replace the blades if you die a certain amount of times, or being unable to use certain blades at all. Anything to de-incentivize purposefully dying for better blades. There's a lot you could do with this challenge, and I would love to try different things out with it. My mod Froncakes made a fantastic spreadsheet that has all the info about the deaths in this run, who died, where they died, how they died, and even the clip itself of them dying, with comments and even graphs displaying how long we had each blade. Shoutouts to Froncakes for that. You can check that info out in the description if you'd like. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to follow my Twitch. I do challenges, mostly Xenoblade ones, every Friday. You can catch me uh, having fun there. And please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel to let me know that you like more of this type of content. I had to scrub through 22 hours of footage, which is why it took so long for this video to come out. But knowing you guys like it really keeps me going. The Flylock ends here, but there's plenty of content and challenges to come. Until next time.